I'm going to discuss the allowances for both the production company and the sponsors. But let me give you a brief history on the, the type of allowance. This allowance was implemented within the, from the Board of Inland Revenue in the year 2000. But there were certain amendments made, and in 2003, this particular allowance had to include the audio, visual, and video production. This is to make the production companies more attractive to the sponsors within Trinidad and Tobago. So we had to actually make this effort to have more investments into the production companies. Mm. This is where the allowances and the years there were amendments to. Who is entitled to this allowance? The production company is entitled to this allowance, but you must be registered with the National Registry of Artists and Cultural Workers, and you must be incorporated in Trinidad and Tobago to benefit from this allowance. The sponsors also has to be incorporated within Trinidad and Tobago in order to benefit from this particular type of allowance. What defines a production company? Now, a production company is one that does its own audio, visual, and video production. So, but it also needs to be local. So you have to use local talent. It must be done within Trinidad and Tobago. It must, the, the production has to be done within Trinidad and Tobago. So for example, if you go to a foreign country and you f uh, do your movie across there using foreign talents, you would not be able to claim on this particular production allowance entitled to you. How it works? Now the production company, when it does its own audio, visual, and video production, it will get a 150% uplift from the government of Trinidad and Tobago. This uplift is restricted to $3 million. So you have to be aware that it has to be local for you to benefit from this particular allowance. The sponsors also will get their 150 uplift, but they have to ensure that the production company is registered with the National Registry of Artists and Cultural Workers, and also that they have a certificate of registration which is issued to the production company in order for them to get that benefit. What is required for filing? When you have to file your corporation tax return, you have to ensure that it is done correctly, and also that included in that corporation tax return which the production company and the sponsors will be filing, they have to include a copy of the certificate of registration in order to get this benefit. When can I claim? Now production companies, not all production companies will have the same financial period that you may have from January to December or from March, the 1st of April to the 31st of March. But you have to ensure that when you're filing your tax return that it coincides with your certification period because it is very important for you that that certification period that you're filing for is within that it takes up all your expenses for each year. So you have to be very careful when you can claim this. How long you can claim? Now, the certification, the, regi the certificate that you get from the Ministry of Art and Multiculturalism is valid for five years. So you all have to make sure that when you're filing your claims that it is within that period. If it's not, and you all have to file prior to the period or after that period, you're not going to benefit from that particular allowance. Now, there are certain additional perks to get, that the government has introduced for the production company because they want you to actually ha have video production within Trinidad and Tobago. They want to make persons more aware of what they're giving to you. So along with your 150% allowance, you're also going to get an uplift if you sponsor any sort of sporting activity in Trinidad and Tobago, or any sportsman, you're also going to get that 150% uplift if you all actually purchase any sort of artistic work. 
So, uh, but it must not be in your own normal course of business. It must be outside of that scope for you to benefit. Now, the one and two above, you are limited to three million also. So look at that, the production company, they're trying to make the production company more aware that they're going to give you six million dollars to reduce your taxes. You're not going to get cash in hand, they're going to reduce the amount of taxes, they're going to reduce the amount of taxes you paid to the Board of Inland Revenue. So let's look at um, an illustration that will make it, you more aware how this tax is actually affecting your tax return. Trin Trini Star Limited, TNT, have decided to produce a movie, Birds in a Tree, and the, their production of plan amounts to six million. But on the 31st of March 2014, they decided that they wanted it to sponsor someone at 150,000. They also wanted to purchase a piece of art at 375,000. Now, Trini Star Limited also needed sponsorship, so they decided that they will approach A Mobile Limited to, to um, sponsor them 1.5 million. But because of some sponsors, they are a little bit skeptical. They want to know, well, what, how it's going to be beneficial to me to invest in your company. So we uh, have a the actual computation here of what it will look like. Now, this is the production company without your additional allowances. And as you see, both it has a 10 million, and your allowable expenses before that production allowance is introduced is 5.1 million. But you, w if you don't take this type of benefit, if you don't. Um, take the benefit into consideration, you would not be allowed the sponsorship nor the purchase of your artwork. So, and also you would not be able to get the three million uh, benefit to producing your movie. So at the end of the day, your corporation tax liability is going to be 606250. Six so you have to be very careful in that you would not be able to benefit from the allowance once you decide you're not claiming it. With the allowance now, your net profit and your allowable expenses are taken out, but you are allowed your art and sportsmanship allowance, and you're also allowed your video production. It has reduced, as you will see, your taxes significantly that you have to pay to the Board of Inland Revenue. Now, let's look at what happens to the sponsor when the sponsor does not take into consideration his allowance he has to pay 1.125 million to the board of inland revenue and this is a lot for a production company that may not be starting up or that they are, they have all as five years they, that is a lot of money to pay to the board of inland revenue but if you take into consideration the allowance that you will get, which is 2.25 million, that is the allowance that the sponsor will actually get. Now remember, if he decided that he wanted to contribute the 1.5 million, the uplift is up to is 2.25, he will get the full amount because the amount is restricted to him up to three million. So he is allowed his full amount, which I'm glad I'm sure he will be glad to accept. And his taxes have reduced significantly to five hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred. Now, when is your corporation tax return filed? You have to ensure that you file your tax return on a timely basis. Your tax return needs to be filed by, for instance, if your expenses are incurred in the year 2013, and you have to file your 2013 tax return, you need to file it. And if there's any outstanding payments to the Board of Inland Revenue, you have to do this by the 30th of April. 2014. But sometimes Board of Inland Revenue gives you a grace period. So you have until 31st of October 2014 in which to file all the expenses that you have incurred for your 2013 tax return in 2014, October 2014. Now we have some points to note to ensure that you all remember that the government has introduced this allowance to ensure that you all have this type of benefit to, to, to boost the in production industry. So 
the, the purpose of this particular allowance was to actually boost the industry. And the criteria for claiming, you must be incorporated in Trinidad and Tobago, you must be registered with the National Registry of Artists and Cultural Workers, and the production, you have to ensure that your production promotes the local culture and the local talents in Trinidad and Tobago. Filing of your documents, you must ensure that you complete your tax returns, your corporation tax return, and also that a copy of your certified registration is included for you to benefit from that particular allowance. Also, the claiming period. Claims to the Board of Inland Revenue must coincide with your certification period because remember, your certification period is only valid for five years. So you have to ensure it coincides with that. And the deadline for filing your tax return is October 31st of the following year. Now, I do know it's a lot of taking because you are not that versed in the financial and accounting area. But if you have any questions, there are my co-workers around. If you have any questions to ask us, or if you need any assistance, Egypt Business Solutions is always here to assist you and give you any tax advice you may need. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant afternoon.